good evening. My name is Richard Wolfe and I'm the boss of Living TV. And it's a real pleasure to welcome you here to the London Palladium. This is the London Palladium and you're welcome to it. <laughs> That's right. Laugh now and work it out on the way home. <laughs> now, enough of me. We've got a fantastic night ahead of you. Uh, in a few moments, we'll be introducing Colin Fry. But I'd now like to introduce you to the star of Street Psychic. He's the star of Psychic School. He scared our celebrities on I'm Famous and Frightened. And next year, you're going to be seeing him in a brand new series called The Psychic Detective, where he'll be unraveling some really complicated murder mysteries. Please give a huge Palladian welcome to Mr. Tony Stockwell. <laughs> I feel very humbled. So, um, without further ado, I, I will endeavour to communicate with the spirit world on your behalf. If you understand the information that I bring, please put your hand up. If, for instance, you put your hand up because you ain't got a clue what I'm talking about, <laughs> but you think, oh well, if you might, you know, put me out, it might come to me anyway, eh? And you might get a message on the end. Probably not a good idea, no, not, not, not this evening. So, um, hands up nice and high if you understand the information. Uh, otherwise, please be patient with us. I'm sure if, if God wishes, we'll, we'll be able to come to you at some point. I've got a, a lady working with me, and I feel she's in her late 30s when she passed, possibly touching her early 40s as she passed into the spirit. I do believe that she went with a cancer, cancer-orientated passing. I know that she again had children that she left behind in this world. She draws my attention keenly to where there are two kids, two little kids, darlings, when she passed over spirit side of life. I know she tried very hard to stay longer here in the world, and I feel there's a link to do with her mother, either wanting to bring a message to mum or get a message to the mother uh, um, of the girl. So can we get a microphone just here, do you think? Okay, if anyone else understands, you must call out if you understand where, where this link may be. Okay, hello, darling. Hello. Can I your voice, my darling? Hello. Hello, love. All right. Um, sweetheart, as I connect here, I know this message is all about my mum. This is what she keeps saying. Yes. Tell my mum I'm okay and that I'm well and that I'm happy and I've found myself here, spirit side of life. You have been looking at two photographs of this young lady today. You've been looking at two photographs of my lady, specifically these two today. Do you understand? Yes. That's it. Yes. And she has watched you there, my darling, as you've seen her photograph. Now, it seems to me these two photos are one when she's very healthy and one either at the time when she was a little poorly or the time at the end part or the latter part there of her life. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. It feels to me that she was not right there for seven years prior to her passing, that she had ongoing health issues or things were not right with her with regards to health. Do you understand yes, me? Yes. Are you sure of that, darling? Yes. Good. But she makes me feel that you were with her as she died. Do you understand me? That's yes. it. Because she wants to thank you for being with her. I also know she wants to thank you for holding my hand as I passed out of this world into the next. Yes. Darling, I also feel that you were on her left-hand side, her left-hand side, when you said goodbye. Do you understand, my love, that either she was in a coma for three days, yes. the three days she couldn't yes. speak to you? Yes. That's it. And I just know here that she had already, in that coma situation, darlings, she had already moved halfway to the spirit, if you like. So she doesn't want you to think she was suffering at that point. I was well away from that. That's do you also remember placing a flower on her, or a little flower on her hand? A tiny little flower. Do you understand, darling? That's it. Because I know that she doesn't bring me a bouquet of flowers. I've got a little flower, a tiny little flower. And as you gave it to me, I give it back to you. You wear my ring. Do you wear her ring, my darling? Put it on today. You have her ring. You are yeah. together, darling. She's my sister. That's fine, darling. Bear with me now. But I know here that she wears my ring, so if I may speak with you, it would be lovely. Sweetness, are you in fact her younger sister? I'm her older sister. I don't like it. Now, where do I go, my darling, where she wants to talk about a younger girl here? Her daughter. Okay. Now, am I about 11 or 12 years yeah, of age? she's 11. That's it. Now, darling, this 11-year-old child, has she recently had some eczema here on the belly? Yeah, she's, some... suffered. she's got eczema around Ex her stomach. That, that's fine. Because I know 
know that she rubs my tummy and I feel that she wants um, some special attention or even a little more attention there to, uh, uh, um, to alleviate this problem here on this side of us. So will you just do your best? I know you will do that in any case. Do you have a dog called Cassie, darling, or Katie? What is that? They, no, they had a dog. Her, What's it called, her, darling? Cassie? I, or I don't know, but it passed away way before my Is it black, though, darling? I can't remember. I want a little Brown. fat black dog. I can't Brown. have nothing else. Brown. A little fat, little tiny legs, big fat body, black. <laughs> okay, you don't know it. Let me have my dog back, darling, in case it belongs to somebody else. I don't mind, <laughs> but I know I see the dog. I do it. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay with me longer. Come on. Will you please give that microphone back to your mum for a second, darling? That's where, that's where I need to be. Um, just uh, as I stay with you, um, just a little a bit longer, darling. You have felt your young lady, you have felt your daughter at the side of you, but physically, and I feel it's when you've been laying in bed, and when you've been laying in bed, going to sleep, you have felt the bed creak, or the bed go down, and you thought, this is just too much, for, you know, I can't possibly believe this could be happening, but it happened, darling. Yeah, so do you understand me? The physical sense of that, and I know it was me, it wasn't your imagination, it was me. She stays longer, one second, darling, I've got, she's got to go. Darling, before I leave you, um, have you uh, been suffering here with your throat at all? Where well, is this thing? I can't swallow, darling. It's so all I know is I'm working with you. I cannot swallow, and there's a, a, like a restriction in my throat. There's a pain here that builds in my throat. And as she just leaves, she's trying to leave us, but I just... It's she all of this, darling. What does it mean? She had the thyroid cancer. Okay, that's fine. Okay, as long as you understand where this could be heading, that's all I need to do for this. I, she gives me a billion things. I could be with you ages, but all I know is a girl that looks for her mum, and I know this girl comes because she can, because she is well, and I know she would give a, a love to you both. I know she would also there give the love to the two children, especially. I will give you all her love. Thank you both very much indeed for listening to me. God bless you. Thank you very much. I was just so amazed that, that he got it all right, especially with the flowers, because I placed them in their hands, they were her daughter's flowers, to pick them for her mum. Her name was Andre. Um, she suffered from thyroid cancer, but she died of leukaemia. She was gorgeous, she was loving, she was everything to me. On the way home, we'll just be talking about the show, talking about my sister. I really felt that was my sister. I really did. I felt that was she. I felt it was my daughter. I felt everything he said. She was my daughter. Everything he said, and it really amazed me. And I know this girl comes because she can, because she is well. And I know she would give a little love to you both. I think that if you've lost a per, if you've lost someone that you love, I mean, this is really. It's a very nice feeling. It doesn't take the pain away, but it makes you feel good. If you are together, do you know each other? Yeah. Okay, then stop nigging her link, eh? My darling, would you please be able to understand a gentleman that sadly passed the world of spirit, rather embarrassed by the fact that he had a slight indent on the side of his head? My father had two marks here. He collapsed it. And they were here. I feel she was found in a wooded area after she passed to the spirit.